We've all had trust issues and insecurities in our lifetime. There's absolutely no arguing about that. And it's definitely a painful thing to go through, especially if you don't know how to deal with them. And this, the whole point of this video is a lot of people have no idea how to deal with them. And it gets to a point where it starts to affect their ability to reach their full potential. And that is a problem. And you know, logically it makes sense. It makes sense why past experiences, why trust issues, why insecurities would completely damage you and what, why it should hold you back. It makes perfect sense, but we don't accept that here on this channel. So I'm gonna give you guys actionable ways on how to deal with trust issues and insecurities. All right, we're gonna start with this. You need to understand these two things right here. One, you need to understand that everybody does not have the same heart as you. And two, your past experiences do not define you at all. So don't allow that to affect the way that you look at yourself. When you understand that everyone doesn't have the same heart as you, you understand from a larger perspective, you understand that, hey, okay, I know I'm like this, but I know that I can't expect everyone to be like that because what, what, what will happen is you'll have this large expectation from everyone else and generally most people you come in contact with thinking that all people are good. And then you'll realize that everybody has a totally different definition of what good actually is, right? And that is going to impact the way you think about yourself, the way you think about others, and it's going to evolve into insecurities over time if you allow this to keep happening over and over again in a pattern. So you need to understand that first and foremost. And two, and this is the bigger one, this is the one that I've directly been involved in multiple times. This, this was a lesson I had to learn over and over again. But when you understand that your life experiences do not define you, then you have a whole different sense of what self-worth is and you view yourself way differently. So I, I'm, I can attest to this. Do not look at experiences like, man, I failed here. Or, man, I didn't do my best there. I wasn't strong enough to do this or I wasn't smart enough to do that. When you start thinking of yourself like that, you start thinking of yourself as lower and lower and then you lose credibility with yourself and it's just not a fun thing to deal with at all. When you start associating your value with what you do instead of with who you actually are. Because anybody can fill at everything. Anybody can make a mistake. We are all humans. So it makes zero sense to, in, in the moment it might make sense, but it makes zero sense to associate your self-worth with what you do instead of how you actually are as a person. Your character is what matters. What is inside is what matters. And what you have, what you have in you, the drive, the character, the determination, the integrity, those are the things that matter. Not so much the what you do and how you messed up and all that stuff. And the way that you can actually get these two principles instilled in your head is to just simply do this, develop thick skin. I've made an entire video on this and you can catch it right up here. But what you need to understand is the reason, understand the reasoning behind the thick skin. I'm not gonna go into specifically how to do that. You can catch that in the video, but we need to understand the principle of why developing thick skin is so important because life has tons of experiences, positive and negative. And if you don't have thick skin, it's gonna be very hard to adapt when things do go wrong. Not having thick skin will cause you to start doing the same things over and over again. And you'll basically be on a treadmill for the rest of your life thinking that you're making progress, but really you're not going anywhere. And it's because you allow yourself to keep going through the same things, the same pain, the same people, the same toxic experiences that you keep tolerating and do nothing about over and over and over again. And that's what happens when you don't learn your lesson the first time. If someone betrays you, if someone's displaying certain patterns or if certain things are happening that you're clearly insecure about and you're still not facing them, you're still not doing anything about them, you are hurting yourself. When you have the thick skin, for one, you get tougher and the more the experiences happen, the less painful it is to you. So this is a double-edged sword, right? Because on one end, if you don't have thick skin, you're not learning from the experience, therefore you're not getting tougher by the experience. So those are the two things. You're not getting smarter from the experiences, which means you're going to do it again. And then you're not getting tougher, which means it's gonna to hurt just as much as it did last time because you keep going through the same thing 
over and over again. And having tough skin and thick skin is not the easiest thing to do, but it is something that has become a necessity in our society of mostly soft people, just to be totally blunt about it. What I'm saying is learn to brush things off, but also learn to predict when things start to happen. You can learn a lot more about that stuff in the video. It's also linked in the description. What better way to develop thicker skin than to actually manage your emotions? There's no better way, and I actually made a whole series about this. You can catch it in the upper right-hand corner. You will not regret it. It is some, It's one of the most valuable series of videos that I've made because it goes over the most valuable skills it takes for you to succeed, but also for you to just become a better person, a tougher person, a smarter person, and just better relationally and a better self-reflector. Extremely valuable. Check it out. And just to be clear, this is the number one skill you need to build better relationships with other people and with yourself, because the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships, which is why it's so powerful. If you just focus on this one thing, it would literally cover every single thing that I'm about to go over in this video, because it's just that important. And I can't stress enough. The quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. And I say that because, well, it's true, but it also gives you the skills to catch on the subtle signs such as body language, tonality, character traits, and stuff like that, that could completely lead you to avoiding ever having trust issues, to avoid, you know, because you'll be able to catch on of, hey, I can't trust this person. They did this, they said this, but they did this. You know, their body language is saying this, but their mouth is saying this. Which one do I believe? And when you start thinking like that, you start to get suspicious about certain people. And that is a good thing. That means you're interpreting what you're seeing. And if you won't master it at first, it's going to take a while to build on. But once you build on these skills that I'm about to go over, it is life changing. It really is. So I'm going to go over it real quick. It's broken down into four different skills. You have self-awareness, self-management, and then you have social awareness and relationship management. Those are the four things that you work on to manage your emotions well. And again, I have a whole series about this, so check it out if you would like to change your life. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, it's seriously a very valuable experience and you will not regret it. Moving on, be direct. Be extremely clear and upfront with your expectations with people. Let them know what you are not willing to tolerate. Teach people how you want to be treated and it will start making your life a lot, a lot easier. I'm telling you, here's why. This is gonna set a standard for both you and for the people around you. It's gonna build your self-confidence and your self-respect because you're showing people, hey, you cannot walk all over me. You can't do this, you can't do that. I will not tolerate this. Don't talk to me like that. Don't look, you know what I mean? Like you, you get the picture. So, so what I'm getting at is you'll start to really understand who you are and what you're about, and so will everyone else, which means you'll start viewing yourself in a totally different light. So in the beginning of the video, I talk about how past experiences don't define you and things that you've done in the past or things that have happened to you in the past are not who you are. So with this and building that self-respect of laying the standards down up front, it's going to give them that from the moment they meet you to you know the longevity of your relationship or friendship or whatever the case is, you'll definitely know and they'll know firsthand exactly how you feel about yourself and how they should respect the way that you feel about yourself, if that makes sense. And of course, this will directly impact your insecurities, whatever ones you have, because you actually are going to feel like you're in control. You're directly in control of how much you respect yourself and you're in control of what you tell other people about what you're willing and what you're not willing to tolerate. So with that said, you're inevitably going to have fewer insecurities. And that's something that you can use to build you up even more and build that self-esteem. And speaking of self-esteem, that is what you're definitely gonna to wanna to spend the most time working on. And that's probably the hardest thing of everything I just mentioned to build up on because if you're having insecurities and trust issues, then you probably don't have all that much self-esteem. And even people with high self-esteem, that's something that you're gonna to have to continuously build on for the entirety of your life because it's just that important. 
Now, of course, I made an entire video on this and it was actually a collaboration as well. So if you're if you're wanting to expand what you know on self-esteem and if you want actionable tips that aren't usually mentioned, and I, I haven't heard my tips mentioned on any other YouTube video, so I would definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely check it out. Matter of fact, check out every single video I've mentioned within this video because I've already mentioned like, God, at least seven videos already. <laughs> And I'm not going to go over the exact tips that I went over in my video that was specifically about this, but I will give you five extra tips outside of what's in that video right here, right now. These are quick and simple, I promise. So you want to exercise, you want to eat healthy. These two things are going to take care of your body and, and the way that you feel and the way that you look. And it's, that is inevitably going to make your self-esteem go way up because you're just, you're feeling better and you're looking better and you have more energy and you can just do more and you can perform whatever task better. And there's no cons to either one of these. You're also gonna to wanna to surround yourself around like-minded people. You know, it's easy to think that you're alone and you're the only person in the world that's anything like you and that you're so different. But I'm here to tell you that's not the case. There's tons of people like you. There's hundreds and thousands and millions of people who are just like you and you can find them anywhere. And a lot of them live near where you live, believe it or not. There's you know, you can just, it doesn't have to be like a thousand people that you're surrounding around. It could be two people. It could be one person. Just talk to somebody who's like-minded and you'll feel like you can connect with them and like you're, okay, wow, I'm not alone. I'm actually, there's more people like me and that's gonna automatically make your self-esteem go up because you're not feeling like you're an outcast. These last two are gonna help you from a mental standpoint. For one, do something you're good at on a daily basis. You're gonna to want to do something that you're good at on a daily basis. That could be writing, that could be running, that could be any physical activity, video games, something that you know that you're good at for a fact that you're good at. It could be instrument, doesn't matter. Do something that you're good at. And then you're gonna also want to read up on things that you're not so good at. Read up on things that you feel inferior about like if you don't know that much about money or budgeting read up on that stuff read up on the things that you're struggling in and then before you know it it doesn't take that long to be knowledgeable on something that you're struggling in and then guess what that's one less thing you have to worry about and then your self-esteem goes way up so I have a question for all of you. What do you think about the section when I talk about managing your emotions? That's the part that I'm most excited about, but let me know down in the comments specifically what you think about managing your emotions. If you wanna learn more about self-improvement, consider subscribing to this channel. I'm Reggie Bryant. That's what this whole channel is about. And I show you how to improve your life in every aspect, relationships, emotions, making more money, Stuff like that, how to live a healthy lifestyle, all that good stuff. There's more videos to come, and I'm so excited to have you, and thank you so much for watching. Control you, control your finances, control your life. Thank you so much for watching.